Hi, good morning and welcome to South Nut Field where I'm cooking again you know, in these hard times. It's not, I think it's the third week we've been in that isolation. So we've got a little bit in our cupboard this week. And I should have everybody should have these ingredients at home, I would think. A bit of flour and a bit of yeast. And we're going to make pizza or pizzetta, as the Italians call it. And why do they call it pizzetta? Because it's 20 centimetres. That's about and the width of my hand, like that. So that's 20 centimetre for pizzetta and a bigger one, pizza, that we all know and um, love. So, back to my ingredients. What you're going to need for today's recipe are the following. Some salt, some olive oil, which I've got here, a little bit of passata. Uh, you can use tinned tomatoes or your own tomato sauce, but, you know, in the 21st century, why not use the... Um, the ready-made stuff. Some yeast, which I'm very lucky to have got a full bag of from my local shop. And next to it is the flour. I'm using double O flour, but you can use just ordinary, regular, plain bread flour. Now, for the toppings and the fillings, we have on our, in the, out the fridge, I found this morning, some yellow peppers, some very thinly cut red onion, and some oregano from the garden, some grated um, cheese, and again it's just a bit of leodama and some parmesan, which I always have in the, in the um, fridge, so that's going to go in it. Have some jalapeno peppers, which are, uh, are used a lot in pizza, some sea salt, and some ham for the topping. Right, I have 250 grams of double O flour in the bowl. I'm going to add my 4 grams of yeast to the water, which is tepid water, which is a little bit of boiled water and plain water, plain tap water, just to give that a mix. Right, before I do this, I will now add my olive oil to the mix, which is simply a tablespoon of olive oil into the mix. We put a little bit of salt in right for now. It's important that we put salt in because it gives it a little bit of flavour. Although I don't need salt myself. Right, so we'll just put it on my mixer for a minute before I add my water. I've got my dough hook in and I'm going to whiz it up so um, you'll hear a bit of a noise. Here we go. And to that I add my water and yeast mixture, all in as you can, every last drop. Just going to make it um, coagulate well, get it mixed so it's off the side of the bowl. You can do this by hand, guys. Uh, a lot of people do it by hand, and you just put it in the bowl and do it by hand, or put it on the board and do it by hand. That is simpler. So that's nicely mixed now, as you can see. I'm going to take it out. Now this is a bit that's good fun. Yeah, it's quite a nice, quite a nice mixture. It's still sticky though, of course, because it's not been kneaded. Now the next bit is the fun bit, which I'm going to put a bit of flour on the board, just the plain flour again, and we're going to knead the pizza. So I think it's my bowl. Still a bit sticky, so I'm trying to get it out in one piece, that's good. And put it onto the flour. Now this is where you knead, and what's kneading is pushing the dough about. So pulling it, stretching the gluten in it. It's a very important part of doing it. And the Italians might say you should do it for 10 minutes, but I don't know whether I've really got the energy for doing 10 minutes so just do it you don't have to have a workout just do it for a few minutes but just stretch it out nicely oh you're feeling you can feel it getting smoother and better texture all the time picking up the flour that you use 
So give it a good old knead like that. Now, that's just for the purpose of the camera. I'm just kneading it for a, for a short while. Um, and then I'm going to roll it into a, a nice ball. Put a ball back into my bowl. And I'm going to cover that with cling film and put it in a warm place for 30 minutes. I know it's quite a long way, but the magic of uh, television, as they say, camera is, here's one I prepared earlier. Now, this is the dough I prepared earlier, and it's been settling in somewhere warm, in our airing cupboard, to be honest. <laughs> but um, it's ready now to, to go with. As you can see, it's sort of doubled in size the yeast and it's it's looking good now so we can ready ready to roll and put in the pizzas so I'm ready to make the pizzas so I need some flour on the board again which we do here and at this stage I need to find my trusty rolling pin which I think my wife has cleared up put away the camera lady's already put it away oh no she hasn't here it is use a nice floured rolling pin. I'm just going to roll out the pizzas now. So we're going to probably need a little bit less. I'm going to get a knife out. We don't need a whole lot for the first pizza. So I'm going to take out about a third of the dough. Then we'll make a small pizzetta first. So just put the pizzette, the piece of dough on the board and gently roll it out. Make sure you've got plenty of flour on your, on your pin, otherwise it won't work. So we need it quite, a, we're going to have quite a thin pizza. We don't want a thick pizza, do we? So this is for the pizzetta. I'm going to roll it out into about 20 centimetres. We can push it out with our hands when we get a bit longer so that's about the right thickness if you like so there's my first one which I'm going to put on my trusty pizza stone which I've had in the house for years and years and years um, that needs a bit of flour on the bottom just to make sure that things don't stick on it so we do that nicely a bit more and then get a pizza and just lay it on the, on the, it doesn't have to be exactly and purposefully the right size, but about the right size. And that's a good thin pizza. So what we're going to do is put a topping on this pizza. This one is going to be um, a fairly, a pizza blanca as they call it, which is without tomato sauce, which is um, a first for me, but I'm going to go and get my ingredients. What I want for these are some red onion, thinly sliced red onion, as you can see from here. It's quite thin already. I did it this morning on the very thin piece of onion. So just lay them about your uh, pizzetta. Not too many. It's nice that you can you go a long way. You can use a few ingredients go a long way. So you can see but the pizza shops charge an absolute fortune for pizza and there's very little ingredient goes into it really but that's the onion and then we're going to put the cheese on my nice mixture of cheese my Leodama and my Parmigiano it doesn't want to be too thick the um, pizza filling because the thicker it is the less crispy your pizza gets so just remember that when you're making it. Don't pile it up with product. Right, now let's put some oregano in it. We'll just strip the oregano like this and put it along the pizza. It's looking all right, it's looking good already. <laughs> let's hope the oven's hot enough for me. And really that, that's a pizza blanca, Ban bianca as they say in Italy. And it's a very simple pizza. And try not to put stuff 
right to the edge. You need a bit of movement around it. So that's my first pizzetta ready to go in the oven. And I'm now going to make my second pizza. I'm going to put this in the oven first, oven, to see if it's ready. The oven is at 220 degrees, nice and hot, as it should be ready. Okay, I'm just going to pop it in now. Now I'm going to turn this pizza oven for about six or seven minutes. Uh, I'll put the timer on. Five, six. And let's wait for it. And now I'm back, I'm going to do my second pizza. This is a slightly bigger one, so we'll call it pizza. Uh, I've got my dough ready here, that was um, already risen. Make it into a ball. Um, I might make this one a ball because I'm going to put it oblong shape. But get a good bit of flour on it because you need it. I let the stick like mad. And this one's going to be slightly bigger. There you go. And we can pull it out once it goes in the tray to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. That one, turn it over. You see you can stretch it out and put it there. Right, now I'm going to put it into my tray. Excuse me. My trusty cameraman. Camera woman rather. I can't say cameraman anymore. Person. Uh, person. So we'll put this on to the tray and let's just stretch it as much as we can. Let's fill it out as we can because we're going to put a bit more filling on this one. Well, more ingredients, not, not quite as much. Remember what I said, the less ingredients the better we've got. But it's a very simple thing to do, just stretch it out, make it as good as you want. As long as you, there you go, it's ready to go. And it's ready to have its filling and ingredients put into it. And in this one, I'm going to put the passata first. And I think we'll probably put about two tablespoons of passata in here. Again, we don't want to put too much in it, because it, will, it won't get crispy. One. So there's two tablespoons of passata. And we'll just run it around the pizza. Don't put it right to the edge. It needs a little area around it so it can get nice and crispy and thin. But again, it's it's not a lot of sauce, but it's just enough to 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 add the flavour, if you like. So that's my passata, and you can use tin tomatoes or your own tomato sauce. But I I, I like to use the passata because I got it in the fridge. So why not use it up? So my next ingredient to go on here will be my. Um, peppers that I found in the fridge this morning. We'll just sprinkle them on. Not a problem. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We'll put a couple of onions on. Not many onions because I'm going to put um, jalapenos on as well. So we'll just put the onions like that. So. Now, I'm going to add jalapeno peppers very popular and that's my oven <laughs> flashing so I need to go to the oven in a minute so if we just put the peppers on like so and they're, they're very uh, you get hot shop pizzas in the pizza shop have a lot of jalapenos on them now I like jalapenos but Mrs. Davis doesn't particularly like them so we won't put too many on right looking quite colourful now and now I put my cheese on here you go as you can see the mixture of parmesan and liadan but sprinkle it quite lightly because you don't want to have too much filling it won't won't make it make it nice and crispy will it so let's just leave it like that so that's about ready to go in the oven looks delicious so let's put it in the oven here we go Second pizza, in they go. So we'll let the two pizzas in and shut the oven door because it needs to be put on there for seven, well a bit longer this time because it's a bit bigger pizza. We've got nine minutes on the clock. 
and let's see what happens. And uh, I think the pizza should be about ready now. It's um, been in about 10 minutes, so let's have a quick look. Let's bring out the Bianca first. Oh yes, look at that one, bubbling with cheese. So, come over here, bring it over, and take it out. Mm. Look at that one, that looks really stunning. Leave that one in for a little bit longer. I'm gonna just give this a cut. See what it's like. It looks delicious. Oh, I can tell you now it's nice and crispy and looks delicious. Let's cut it a bit. Oh, look at that. The Bianca pizza, just with a few onions and cheese and some fresh oregano. I can tell you now, I wish I had smell-o-vision because it smells delicious. So there we go, that's the number one out. Put that in a plate, ooh, that's hot. Put it on a plate, like that. Move this to one side and we'll get out the second pizza. She's going to finish that, I believe. Let's have a look in the oven. Okay. This one's lovely and glorious and ready. I can see it's going to be crispy. Bring it out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now that's a, that is a pizza. Homemade pizza. Ah, before I do that, I put my ham on. Because I don't like my hand cooked like it on the raw. It just, I think it just looks a bit better and tastes a bit better. Put the ham on. So there we have our pizza. Uh, I haven't got a name for it yet. Uh, we can call it whatever we like, but um, let's have a look. The Hot Shot Pizza. Oh, can you hear that crispiness? This pizza is absolutely splendiferous. So there we have our homemade pizza. One Bianca. Well, white is it, is it translated to, and the other is the hot shot pizza that I made right there. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video very, very much because uh, I've enjoyed doing it, and I hope you've really enjoyed the Piazza Pizza, Pizzetta, the Bianca, and the Napoli, or the hot shot, you want to call it. So, come back and stay safe. And come back and see us very shortly.